So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at what 801, Zer, and Eververse is offering. So that way you guys are aware of what they are offering in case you were not aware. Oh my God. So for today, ugh. so this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at what 801, Zer, and Eververse is selling at the end of the week. So that way you guys have some time to get some of the stuff that you may or may not have gotten. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, Dark Amalon. So this is the first shader. I am not the biggest fan of the shader. It's probably the blue. Um, if it was any other color, I think it would be fine. I also don't like the white as well. You can't see the white as much here, but there is a really bright white in this shader for cloth, and I'm not the biggest fan of that either. We have Bray Innovation. I actually like the shader quite a bit. It is from Warmind, the second DLC for this game. So it is a really old shader now. And for that reason alone, I would recommend people to pick it up. And then Dead Orbit's Fate, which this is from the vanilla Destiny 2. So this is even older than the one we just saw. So this one I definitely would recommend as well. It's a good black and white. And then for the armor, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of this armor at all. I think the hunters have a good set for the chest piece. You can definitely make some cool sets with it. But other than that, I'm not the biggest fan of everything else, just because a lot of it's not going to change color. And most, most specifically, just the markings. So like the marking on the helmet doesn't change color or it will, but you can still see the mark and that goes for a lot of the things. Uh, Titans, I think a lot of it is really cool. It's just the fact that the red and the bronze does not change color. And that's really unfortunate. I think the helmet is definitely usable and the bond is definitely usable. Even the chest to a certain extent, maybe, but that big red box just kind of throws it off for me. So I would probably just say the helmet and the mark are like really usable. For the Warlocks, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I think this is kind of boring. Uh, I definitely would not recommend this. If you want to see me go in depth of what I feel about the armor, definitely check out the Ada videos because I do go over it a little bit more than I do now because I just wanna make this video fast fit where you guys can get to the point of the video. As for Zuri using the Whining Cove and EDZ currently selling the Future War Cult armor, you can definitely check out the Zuri video that I made so that way you guys can see what I think about the armor. But overall, I'm not really impressed. If you guys want to get this armor without the Future War Cult insignia, definitely check out Nessus. More specifically, go to Failsafe. She will be selling that armor. I don't know if you have to level her up like you used to, but she does sell the armor and it's better than the Future War Cult armor, like I promise you. And just to talk about the armor real quick, I do think the hunters have some pieces that are definitely bangers. Uh, more specifically, you can definitely use the helmet, the chest piece if you go lean into the wiring. The arm is really cool. The boots are pretty decent. And then the cloak, I think, is the best piece because although the wiring on the hood doesn't change color, I kind of just ignore it because I put a helmet that takes off the hood altogether and it makes such a cool set. I would show you right now, but I'm on my Titan, unfortunately. Um, as for Titans, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think the arms like the only weak par uh, part from this whole set because the chest piece, again, if you lean into the wiring, it's going to look cool. The mark is pretty cool. Helmet, I think is really dope if you combine it with a tactical look and then the boots you can do for like a knightly look or even a warrior look. It don't matter. And then warlocks, I think uh, the chest piece is really cool if you lean into the wiring, like I've said for every other class. Um, the helmet is really cool as well. And everything else is just kind of like whatever's honestly. So let me know what you guys think about the armor. As for the weapons, tiers of contrition with triple tap and explosive payload. We have seven serves SI2 with hip fire grip and elemental capacitor, extraordinary rendition with firmly planted and one for all. Iota Draconis with an ensemble and harmony. Hollow denial with lead from gold and repulsor brace. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, interference VI with grave robber and swashbuckler. And then who's with underdog and quick drop. Quick to note, or a quick note I should say, is Tears of Contrition and Hollow Denial are both red border weapons. So if you are interested in picking some of these up, then I would definitely tell you to pick some of these up. Uh, more specifically, Hollow Denial, Left from Gold and Repulsor is pretty cool, pretty good. Uh, Tears of Contrition, Triple Tap and Explosive is pretty good. But <clears throat> if you do want to eventually get these weapons like as crafted weapons, then I would probably tell you pick up five of these. I know that's a lot to ask for considering they're probably going to be like what? Uh, 250 legendary shards. I know that's a lot, but if you really want the weapon, do that. I mean, for both, it'd be 500. I get that completely. But I, what I'm, the reason I'm telling you guys to do that is because you can so eventually get it with Deep Side Harmonizer. Um, I just don't remember how much they give you during the season. I've already seen three, four, five. Damn, 
that kind of sucks donkey dictate they only give you five so you only do get five but <clears throat> i would recommend it especially for weapons that are actually really good i wouldn't recommend it for these two but unless unless you're like oh i'm just trying to complete all of them then i would do it probably i'm i'm using mine currently for the raid so that's why i don't have any right now or i do have some but i'm waiting for the the crota raid as for the weapons we have actually i should probably go over here as for the weapons we're going to be looking at tears of contrition with triple tap and explosive payload uh seven serve si2 with hit fire grip and elemental capacitor we have extraordinary rendition with firmly planted and one for all iota draconis with ensemble and harmony hollow denial with lead from gold and repulsor brace interfere interference vi with grave robber and swashbuckler that probably is interference four maybe and then who's gal with underdog and quick drop quick note uh tears of contrition and hollow denial are both red border weapons so if you really wanted like tears of contrition for whatever reason you can definitely pick up five of these and then use uh your deep sight harmonizers these right here you only get five per season so would that be the smartest thing probably not considering we have a new raid this season and i would much rather use it on my raid weapons than a weapon that is from the past and honestly not that great in my opinion but it's up to you you could be like i'll get the raid what stuff eventually but this these weapons is un like annoying to get which is completely valid so i don't know if buying five like you could continue to do the deep deep side harmonizer thing like this right here it would usually be right here i don't know if you like buy buy that one do it will the next one not have that anymore i would love to know that stat because it just just cause but as for the exotic weapons we have hawk moon with snapshot sights and then trinity ghoul as for the exotics young Kara spine unfortunately got nerfed the fuck up so i don't know if people are going to be picking this up chris of alfie loopy with a strength of 30 and then ophidian aspect with 18 13 10 and 20 which i think this is really good definitely pick it up and that's pretty much it for Zer. let me know what you guys are going to be picking up for Zer. but for eververse i'm gonna be honest i don't remember so we have springtide faint that's right that's yeah okay yeah, yeah, i remember this is a pretty cool shader uh will i ever use it probably not i'm not really the biggest fan of chrome shaders i think they just look gaudy um oiled gunmetal which damn it kind of goes hard with this set though Ooh, am i gonna switch this shader oh, i don't even remember the oh i don't know like i fuck with this but i don't know if i want to switch it out for the shader that i already have um also I'm, I'm currently working on the armor which i did talk about the, this in the zer video but i might as well talk about it now i did get all of the armor the playlist armor which is really annoying the review will talk about that uh we have unspun fate and then the Xenothelastic uh, Voyage, which I don't care for. And then Sparrow Gateway. And for the bottom stuff, we have Aaron Yes SG1. Aaron Yes. I love this ornament. This ornament makes this shotgun beautiful, in my opinion. It takes out the asymmetry and just makes it a symmetrical beauty and that's why i love it and that's why I, to the point where i was actually gonna buy this uh, because i just loved it so much but then i saw it being sold and i was super hyped because uh i saved eight bucks we have vice cruiser which is cute uh trust worked clipper clean lines shell all factory gesture there it is which is just you yep this is it and then square dance which is literally just you square dancing for the shaders spring tight faint again i'm not going to show it because we already saw it but seven sisters this is a cool shade wow no blue on this one well, there is blue up there but this is a cool shader because uh there is a blue you guys can't see it because obviously <laughs> there is no blue in this but the blue has like a really cool star side look which is why i would recommend you guys to pick it up but i mean with this set it actually looks really cool my only gripe is uh it has like a teal color for an off color and i'm not the biggest fan of that uh glow strife i hate it 
and then bloody tooth which i actually would recommend bloody tooth damn these whole boots take the off color i didn't even know that um yeah i would recommend these boots i think these boots are really or not the boots the shader i think the shader is really cool they're really good black and red so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up i am currently working on a bunch of stuff hopefully and i mean this hopefully some of the new armor uh armor uh re reviews came out already and their shaders as well because that's the first thing i'm going to be working on uh by the time this video is up it should be out by now so hopefully that's the case and i'm already getting started on the individual sets because that's also the thing i'm working on i also already got all of the seasonal armor and this one's not gonna be nice this is not gonna be nice i'm gonna be brutally honest i don't like the fucking armor i think it's not only misplaced but it also just makes no sense in an, in a season where it's fucking air is turning into a hive god why are we wood people why are we druids i don't i don't understand like i think a, a hive god armor set would have just been a slapper of an armor set considering oh we also got crota this season as well and let's not act like this game isn't just fucking hive story that's it with a little bit of other stuff here and there like i don't know i'm personally not the biggest fan of it but i will go in more depth in that video so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later